This is Kathy Bogan for Consortium News and I'm here with a victorious looking Kristen Raffinson. Tell us about what went on there in the courtroom. Well, it was such a victorious moment to finally, to finally get uh, a glimpse of hope into the, this case and a glimpse of victory. And I think it is a turning point in the entire fight for the courts here in London to acknowledge how serious this case is. And the signaling to the United States government is so clear. You know, if we scrape away the fancy word and, and, the, and the, the horse hair wigs and the niceties in the text, the signaling is clear to the United States government. We don't believe your assurances. We don't believe your documents and promises. You are about to discriminate against an individual and we are not going along with it. So that should be enough for the Biden administration to consider. You're on a losing path. This is now on our side, and the clock is ticking on the chessboard for the Biden administration. Every day that goes on without this case being dropped is a risk of further humiliation for the Biden administration, because it's now become a humiliation on a grand scale and will just become bigger. And he needs to say, enough is enough, drop the case. Do you think that this is two hurdles, as in the prosecutor could still raise the issue of excluding Assange and robbing him of his rights? But the court, after that, the court could further decide. Um, is that a hurdle that will never be overcome by the United States? I don't see how they, how they will. Let's face it, the appeal now will be on the points that was discussed this morning. Yeah. All the arguments for and against have been presented. And the, the court has now actually has, has weighed these arguments and come to the conclusion that the, uh, the, the arguments the U.S. government does are very lightweight and, uh, and are losing. So in the appeal process, should be, it should be an open and shut case because all the arguments have been made. What else are they going to come up with? They have basically said that, no, we're not going to grant him First Amendment protection because it's an Australian. Are they going to reverse that just to, you know, be, before... Uh, the, because if they do that, they will have to say, well, why? Well, because it's a journalist. That's why they've been saying that he is not all along. So it's, it's, it, it, it may have been a small day in court here, but the, the signal is huge. And it's a signal that gives us hope that we are now on the path towards victory and for Julian's freedom. Kristen Raffinson, thank you very much. Thanks Congratulations. For being here, thank you, thank you. You may see your old buddy again soon. <laughs> I will, I hope. A free man. Yeah, yes. Free man.